working shamelessly right uh, a lot of times though it may lead to a little bit of irritation what people love is that persistence uh, of continuously hustling and trying to get your work uh, people end of the day love that in founder and third is warm intros work a decade back it still works today if you are able to like i mean i go by just any said you know the right right uh, use case coming alive and of course uh, it should not happen transactionally <laughs> there is definitely that's the reason i said there is a curated list we know that uh, you know these are the differentiation you bring to the table and and of course the continuous nudge which you talked about it i'm sure um, there is a lot to lot to achieve together Uh, we're building certain new capabilities here in India. Again, I think as you would have seen, some of them, some of the other pan panelists in the previous one, uh, it is again another GCC uh, or a GIC. We call it as a Global Innovation Centre here in India. Started three years ago. Uh, I just joined them three months ago. Um, Providence is uh, a 51 large hospital chain, thousand clinics, with some of them ambulatory care centres and urgent care centres. Uh, also, uh, Providence also has a health plan, which is a million member health plan. We work in seven different states in US, primarily uh, headquartered in uh, Seattle. Is source technology, so source startups, source small enterprises, all large enterprises, look for solutions that we can use to uh, make our drug development process better. So for those of you that don't know what Parexel is, we are what we call a contract research organization. So we essentially help to run clinical trials for the large pharma companies. So for companies like Novartis and Pfizer and so on, we help them run their clinical trials. And my job is to try and see how can we really change the drug development process which hasn't changed in 25 years. Hi, I'm Viraj, co-founder and CEO of Zedlox. 50% uh, of all healthcare products, almost 50% of all healthcare products require uh, temperature control. Uh, most of the medical supply chains are long, complex and have gaps. Companies have to invest heavily in uh, complex processes and skilled teams to ensure product uh, efficacy. Uh, combine that with uh, uh, unskilled manpower, uh, with uh, passive carriers which have uh, ice and gel packs, which need uh, freezing and conditioning with no monitoring and visibility, it causes breakages, breakages in cold chain. To solve this, we created Zbox ActivePod, which is a smart active cold chain carrier with precise temperature control. Okay, I'm Anand, I'm the co-founder of Logic.ai. We're going to keep it simple, problem solution demand. Now the problem is, if you come to know about your health, some specific healthcare condition early on, it's a good idea, right? Now, the thing is, if I ask you, do you have fat eye? You cannot do anything in the next five minutes to change the situation. But if you see there on WhatsApp, you can send a couple of images of your eye, and that is the solution. And instantly, you can tell you whether you have cat track or different kind of oral conditions. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Manish Fatima, founder and CEO of Five Star Tech. So we at Five Star Tech manufacture a free medical image analysis system. So it's a Korea scan system that provides you the pressure distribution of your feet. So uh, in today's uh, present day diagnosis method, we basically have, uh, if you have any, uh, if you go to a doctor with a complaint of feet pain or ankle pain, there, uh, the diagnosis method involves just manual screening, which depends on the expertise and experience of the doctor. And we have Harris Man, that is a, a foot imprinter method, that is an unreliable method to analyze your pressure. And some doctors may have some digital scanners, which they import from US in around 6 to 8 lakhs of rupees. So uh, we at Pystar Tech provide you with the most affordable uh, AI-based digital uh, scanners. So uh, we pro yeah, so it's a it provides you a complete database analysis in just five seconds. We doesn't require any uh, experienced person to run it. The doctor can just connect it to the computer, and uh, they can see the pressure distribution of the patient, and according to that. They can uh, diagnose the problem, uh, identify what type of pain is there, and then also uh, perform like uh, if there is a uh, like post surgery and all if they have some treatments, they can track the progress of the patient. Right. But now think about the ecosystem involvement in such a way that maybe every home or near to every home, you can think of a small satellite hub sort of thing, right? So which is more like more decentralized model, right? 
But in the case of yours, right, I think you're more into the sample, right? Sample collection, right? Uh, you have to think about how you will manage the challenges of the decentralized supply chain, considering your partner's inventory if you have, any kind of satellite, how that you're making now, so on and so forth, right? That's point number one. Point number two is, because it's a very much regulated environment, right? So everything you have to have place of British at the end, right? What we call in uh, common terms is master data management, right? So you need to know what is your primary product, what is your secondary product, how it is going to the packaging insert, and so on and so forth, right? Now the third part is cold chain is one part of it. And I think you mentioned that it's around 50% is still cold chain. Maybe I'll just little bit think differently because I think it's not 50% every time. But uh, it is definitely very, very tricky in the scenario of geographical distribution that we're talking about, right? So let's say if you are supplying in which part of the world, right? I mean, then that matters, right? What kind of uh, cold chain you think of, right? So these are the three things I would say, you know, customizing it for the geographic area, thinking about the decentralized supply chain, and the second one, you know, thinking about the traceability to the mass level are the three recommendations. Happy to talk about it. So the first one is uh, a product called TCS Autoscape, uh, which is an AIML platform for mobility solutions. So it's a platform that helps uh, the EV providers, AV providers, and uh, the connected vehicle experience. Uh, so this is a full suite of uh, solution which will uh, help OEMs to build products and solutions around it. So currently we're working uh, uh, on three major pilots in the AV space. Uh, uh, with a uh, couple of our customers, so one popular customer anyway is Jaguar. Uh, so that's the first initiative. The second one uh, uh, would be the platform called DigiFleet, uh, which is a connected supply chain solution, so which is uh, helping in uh, transforming the supply chains. Uh, the third one, so we see a lot of work happening in uh, EV space. So you also see in the Hyderabad E-Mobility Week uh, where Jaguar took the pole position. Unfortunately, we lost the game, but. Uh, so that's an area that TCS contributes a lot. TCS is also the title sponsor. We talk a lot of uh, system-based uh, mobility space. So in sustainability and uh, uh, mobility, there we, we have a lot of uh, uh, things. And I belong to an IT team where we are the enablers of most of the artificial intelligence techniques. Mission itself is to reimagine how the world moves, right? right? Really go anywhere, get anything at a tap of a button which means there's a lot of technology innovation behind the scenes. And AI and ML is a core to it, right from you know verifying whether the driver is actually the person who he says he is with computer vision kind of technologies, or even go to our Uber Eats app, which of course is not available in India, but in other regions, and really think about personalization, recommendation, and so on. Ramesh can correct me because he's a teacher and, and a researcher and huge respect for him. But um, clean electric, uh, they are world's first liquid cool uh, battery solution company outside of BMS, uh, right from uh, uh, applied science. Uh, a remarkable company based out of IIT BHU uh, just got an order of 2CR, just complete their pilot. Common thing about all my founders is they are all applied engineering, all applied science guys. Whatever they do, they generate money in less than two years. That's the code of it. Happy to learn from all of you guys and, and happy to learn. My learning curve is all uh, about the founders. So, so nothing important about me. My founders are awesome, awesome founders. Hi, I'm Ravi. I am the founder and CEO of Automobile. I'm another engineer who is a founder. Really nothing about business works with me. Just a technology guy. We are a startup, a six year old startup. Okay, and that's the list of all the customers that we are, we are currently working with. Um, I'll go and move to the next slide, if you can. So just to give you a quick uh, idea of the problem statement. So uh, we are primarily into supply chain and logistics space. And what we know is that single source of truth is on the cloud is always the winner. Or self-driving robots uh, in the future. The most important problem that we are targeting right now is yes, efficiency is one for the sustainability. But the major one is the safety, right? Because we have to operate these self-driving cars along with humans, not just on the roads, but also in the warehouses and other spaces. And we are on a mission to provide all bike riders with the important comforts of car. And that includes complete weather protection. So how we are doing this, 
we have developed this amazing solution called Sepulchi that can be installed on any motorcycle easily within five minutes. And once installed, it will provide the rider and the PM with complete protection from sun, rain, dust, and pollution and cold. We also have a vehicle number plate recognition system. So that is our uh, second product, ANPR. Uh, because we have uh, millions of data uh, available, because of that we are able to make a very highly uh, accurate number plate recognition system in the country. Uh, we are relatively uh, much boring company like startup, uh, selling to boring industries. So we, we tell pharma companies where their products are selling in different countries. Um, but uh, this business is making money, so we made, uh, last year was our first year of sales, we did a million in uh, revenue, this year we're looking at a two million target. So what, uh, when I started this company, what I noticed is pharma companies are paying anywhere between 10 to 20 million dollars each year to market research companies to understand where their products are selling, which pharmacy, who, which their doctor prescribed it. So I built a supply chain app which automatically tracks a product right from their manufacturing unit all the way to the pharmacies. So uh, the problem we are trying to solve is uh, as a corporate, as this particular function of transitioning an employee from point A to point B is very critical so that the employee gets the satisfaction to its fullest, right? Where they have to deal with multiple stakeholders currently, that is be it travel, be it movement of goods, or be it uh, short stays, or be it destination services. And this is where we want to bring everything under one roof, right? So we pay the asset is what makes the business valuable. So, uh, just one point of uh, caution or advice that while A may be a great starting point, it shouldn't kind of uh, delude us to believe that that is the destination. So, um, I am uh, Surit, I am part of the Azure Cognitive Services team, uh, which uh, deals with uh, all the AI models that we build in house in Microsoft, but also, uh, I suppose, more interestingly, with the Azure, uh, you know, Microsoft partnership with OpenAI and uh, all of the models that you know you've been hearing about in the media. And I work with around 14 or 15 software companies, eight or nine of them at this point have incorporated AI. And a few examples are quite interesting. One of the companies, for example, is able to ingest product feedback data from across the board for like for let's say a salesforce whatever it is that salesforce is you know people using salesforce are seeing across channels across the internet and they're able to help product teams within such organizations figure out how to prioritize their feature roadmap we are in the network for pepsico uh, we have uh, nine ecc centers around the world in seven countries and i run all of them sitting on a hyper uh, so great uh, experience last couple of hours I think the storytelling of startups is improving quite a lot. So, a couple of things that I'll say is that uh, in enterprise SaaS, I've seen a lot of AI leak off. Back in 2006, in my, 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 my own company, we talked about predictive analytics. You know, it's all kind of buzzwords that we get using. I'm talking about 15 years ago, 20 years ago, even people talking about anything about machine learning, anything stuff that sounds good you start using it in marketing. Do you all remember the time where you took one whole day just to start writing your blog or your article? Or do you remember the time when you are in a lengthy meeting and you just forgot few key points which you actually need to work on? And also the pain when you need to find a good picture for your content to be posted in your social media platforms and blogging sites. Don't worry because here we brought our product Atom Acts, an AI-enhanced NLP product which is useful for your day-to-day -day content work. So this is Yugen, uh, I'm the co-founder of Harax.ai. Uh, we are a cognitive AI startup uh, looking to solve the level one interviews. Uh, in a country like India, uh, a lot of people apply for jobs and 70% of them basically get ignored uh, because of various reasons. Uh, one particular reason being uh, of manpower. They don't have, people, companies don't have enough manpower to uh, screen all the candidates. So what do you do next like this? Uh, we developed a cognitive-based AI bot uh, that can be trained uh, on skill sets uh, and the bot has the capability of using natural language to ask the uh, job seeker a question, take the answer, process the answer and give a score on it. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, we are a startup called Neural Sync. So we all know, uh, we are a video generative AI startup. So we all know video is one of the best ways of communication, right? Especially enterprises to communicate with customers or internally with various stakeholders, including employees. But today, methods of video creation 
are very uh, traditional, they are non scalable, right? It takes a lot of time, expensive to create videos. But our tool, Wave to Lip, as the name itself says, can take audio as an input and just lip sync any talking face videos to create uh, videos using AI. So, one more advantage we have compared to any other similar tools in the market is our tool can also take the existing video which is made in one particular language and just lip sync without needing to reshoot the whole video, lip sync it in multiple languages, right? We have customers across uh, US, UK, Europe, uh, creative agents like Edison and uh, Road FX, Rodeo FX from Montreal are using it and multiple uh, e learning companies to create. Education content are using this. What we are doing, we are the reference platform for ONDC. We are democratizing the whole commerce sector in India. Lot for Microsoft, lot for people like that of Pepsi. I will discuss it later. We are the reference platform for ONDC. 2.5 crores of product, the taxonomy is being built by us. The whole order processing algorithm in ONDC is working with us. So, yeah, lot of things. One, to hire faster. Two, to hire right. So we help solve this problem using the UH tools like neurocognitive games, contextual simulations, and video along with a bit of AI and NLP. So today we are two years into market with this product, close to 160,000 tests, 32,000 plus selected. Top companies we work with are Tata's and Birla's. Three large enterprises inside Tata's, Mahindra's, Birla's are all our customers. So that's briefly what we do. Thank you. Closely in the past, uh, we had the highway to hundred unicorns that Microsoft uh, had, and uh, you know, uh, Gobin from SignalX was part of what, the winners. But from 2019 to 2023, I think it really there has been a quantum leap in terms of the quality of startups, the kind of uh, uh, technologies they're working, uh, you know, on. And as uh, Microsoft, we are absolutely thrilled to be here. Uh, to be sponsoring. Go to your respective corners for net networking. But before that or after that, whenever you find time, uh, we have our QR code up here on the back as well as it will be up here as well as uh, there is uh, a standee there by the door. Please do sign up on Founders Hub. Uh, it has a plethora of benefits ranging up to $200,000 worth of free benefits for startups. Explore that. And uh, a huge shout out to CII team. Uh, CIE team here. Uh, yes, they have been super patient with me. Uh, I know I've been pestering them on many things. And a special shout out to Shini. The rest of my team is also here Kapil Chabla, Shashi Chandran, Tejaswini, of course, Latika and me. Find any of us, talk to us. We are here all evening just to interact with you. Thank you so much once again for turning up.